Hey, what's up, beautiful people? So today was another upper body day, and um, uh, you already know what that means. So I'm not really good at doing pull-ups. I'm horrible at bench. So anything requiring upper body has been a huge obstacle for me. I've always changed my grip. I, I can't seem to find like a good grip position on the bar. I'm changing the grip. I'm gonna force myself to move on to medium, if not wide grip. Um, and I've attempted wide grip a little bit here and there since, since you know, that incident. And uh, it still doesn't feel very well. Today I did medium grip and I've kind of been sticking to that. That feels the best. Because I still feel when I can engage my lats and, I, and, and when it comes to wide grip, I can't really feel that I'm engaging my lats. Like I know I am, I know I'm doing it because my form feels fine. But because I can't feel it, it's really easy for me to flare out my elbows. So it's just a matter of just constant repetition and just practicing with that. But I'm not used to the medium grip at all whatsoever. So I don't understand what cues, what cues to put in play when I get stuck or I'm like, uh, yeah, like trying to fight it through. I really don't understand my body in that position just yet. So I was confident that I could do 95 and rep that out three by five, but it just, it just, I couldn't do it. But when I was, you know, when I was benching because I know that everyone else around me's bench is pretty freaking solid, I've kind of took in their advice and it, it really didn't work for me. So um, that's what happened on the first lift. So I'm like, dude, I don't even know why I'm forcing it so much right now. I got to put my ego aside, take off a few pounds and just work on the form. And then that's when I dropped it down to 85. And then I'm just, I said, fuck whatever I think I heard. Let me just do what feels right. Let me just because I know that the, your bar path is supposed to be straight. I know that every time you bring it to your chest, you want to feel like before you push up, you want to break the bar. Like I know all of these basic rules. So I'm like, hey, you know what? Let me just stick to the basic rules and let me just do what I know feels right. And then that's when I started realizing that I started engaging my lats. And that's when it actually felt really easy. So then I moved up to 90 pounds because I'm like, wait a minute, let me take it a baby step at a time. And honestly, it was Bart that's like, dude, don't do 95 yet. Just figure out the form. Just do just add 2.5 on each side and then just fill that out so that's kind of what I did but because I'm using brand new muscles that I've never really used before because I've like continued to train in close grip a lot of stuff felt really sore and I was really fatigued or my muscles were really fatigued pretty quickly so I'm confident kind of and now I'm moving on to leg up close grip bench and um for one, I don't even fit on this fucking bench. I think I'm just way too fucking long or I need to move up higher down the bench, but I always feel like my ass leaves the seat anyway. I know that's not the point, but the point being is you put your legs up on the bench so that you're not relying on so much leg drive. Um, and close grip still right now feels super fucking comfortable, but I told myself, hey, um, fucking forget it. One thing though that I did realize when I was doing close grip uh, with my feet up on the bench, because I'm not relying so much on my leg drive at the bottom, um, I realized that my right arm is significantly stronger than my left arm and because of that as soon as I start struggling I immediately feel my uh, Right arm engage and just fucking go full force when I have like a limp at freaking left arm So what I consciously did I just focused on my left arm every time I was benching close grip and um, I, I, I made my right arm the dead arm just so that I can balance it out because I didn't realize how right dominant I am so um it was pretty funny because at this point I'm like completely tired, completely fatigued, and I was like on my last rep here, and um, I get freaking stuck, and my legs are up on the bench, and I'm like, oh my god, I can't fucking believe I'm about to get stuck on fucking 70 pounds right now, no, 75 pounds, and I'm like, holy shit, all right, fuck it, let me just put my fucking legs back down and then just fight it. Even that was freaking hard. I'm telling you, my arms are freaking fatigued. Ah. <sighs> But I pulled through, No, I looked around like, oh shit, didn't anyone just see a big ass fail on such a little weight? Now I'm supposed to be doing weighted pull-ups, but come on man, I can't even do regular fucking pull-ups. I can't do a pull-up without a fucking kip. Look at that, I have to kip every single time and I'm just like, god dang it, what the hell's wrong with me? So on my next one I said I'm not going to be a little bitch, I, even though I am, I get a band and I'm like, alright, I'm going to just use resistance bands just to kind of give me some support so that I'm not kipping, so I try to get used to the, the range of motion uh, of a strict pull-up. And as you can see here, it was a complete fucking fail. I don't know what's wrong with me. Ugh, help. And then I just was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna jump up at the top, 
hold my weight up and then just slowly release and um, I guess work on work on the same muscles but just in the opposite. And closing out the exercise with a bunch of supersets um, of like lat pull downs and incline dumbbell flies, which I have never done before. So as you can see, the first rep looks completely crazy. I lowered the weight of the dumbbell and then I just did it super light, 10 pounds in each, in each hand and I was just working on the form and um, trying to really trying to really feel what muscles it was really engaging. Uh, and then I moved on to underhand bent over rows and dips. And dip is another one of those upper body exercises that I completely suck at that I need resistance resistant bands for um so yeah guys i have a lot of work to do if you have any tips or pointers please let me know and just never forget i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about i'm not trying to give you guys advice in this video i'm just showing you guys my progress until next time y'all peace They're smart Geo and stupid Geo. Stupid Geo is always doing the fucking stupid shit. And then smart Geo is always very logical and she's less emotional than stupid Geo. And the logical Geo is like, hey, you know what? Just slow it down. You're gonna get hurt. You're not wearing a belt. You need to focus on staying tight.